itchy. What's up guys, welcome back to Just a Tip and today we're gonna to be talking about meal plans and why if you're on one, you're a failure. I'm sorry guys, that was a bit of a troll. Um, you're not a failure, your program's a failure. The reason why you're gonna fail ultimately when you're on a meal plan is because a lot of the things you take from a meal plan or the structure of a meal plan are just what I would consider unsustainable. And I'll give you a few examples. Example one, meal plans are only for a set duration of time, meaning a few weeks, a few months, that's it, you go back. Number two, meal plans typically consist of food that you normally wouldn't eat or even like. With those two reasons, that's what makes meal plans unsustainable. So when something becomes unsustainable, that means you're not gonna follow it. So reason number one, the duration of time. Now that you know that there's a set time frame where your quote unquote suffering will end, you're more likely to push through it, grind through it to get to the end goal. And once you get to the end goal, it's over, the goal's done. You know, you went through all that hell and now it's over. Congratulations, you're done. And then you're off to doing the normal shit you always do. And reason number two is a lot of these foods you don't normally eat, especially in the way they're prepared and managed. You don't eat them this way and you tend to eat them with other things. So, so how are you expected to continue to eat something that more than likely to your palate doesn't taste as good as the normal stuff you eat? on a regular basis. So those are just two examples of why meal plans are ultimately gonna set you up for failure. And we'll go real quick about things you can do to not put yourself in the box. These three things that can help you create sustainable eating habits. Number one, learn how many calories you burn per day so you know how many you need to eat. Number two, Learn how many ca calories are in the foods you like to eat and you enjoy. Number three, learn the macronutrients in the food you eat. That way you can have a better understanding of how many calories and how much of these macronutrients you need. And that's it. You figure out those three things and you practice it and you apply it to your everyday life. If you learn that and you know those things, you'll become sustainable in your weight loss, your weight not being able to gain, and if you needed to gain weight, you know exactly what to do. And that's it for just a tip. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you loved it, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, guys, I'll see y'all again.